Today, I'm going to show you how to hide political content from your LinkedIn feed. My name is Jim Cusick, Director of Digital Enablement at Intero Advisory. And I am going to show you both how to do it in your actual feed and in the settings and privacy section. Um, you can also do this on your phone. You may have a little bit of a different view as LinkedIn does rolling uh, rollouts in a rolling fashion. Everybody's profile does look a little bit different, but the functionality should be the same. Um, first, we're going to start with the actual feed. So you log on to your desktop, open up LinkedIn. You'll have a view that looks just like this. You have your top and your recent feeds. Looking at this first post here, click on the three dots. You have a bunch of different action items for this post. If you click on, I don't want to see this, not reporting the post, but I don't want to see this. You have a couple different options here. One of them is I don't want to see political content in my feed. You can click that and submit that. That'll improve your, as it says right there, improve your experience um, with your feed on LinkedIn and curate out that political content. The other way to do it is go into your settings and privacy. On the left side, you can click on site preferences and it'll pull you right down to this area, or you can just scroll down. It should open to your account preferences you can scroll down to feed preferences um, in this settings and privacy section. Click on that, you'll see a, a little yes, no toggle. Do you wanna see political content in your feed? You click it, it'll save it immediately and apply that to your feed. If you're unsure what, um, what that means, um, what you're really turning on there, most of these sections have a little link to LinkedIn help. And you can see five months ago, this was updated around seeing less political content in your feed. Um, right now, I believe it's still only for US members um, and English, the English version of LinkedIn. Uh, that may have changed. I know they're, they are looking at potentially rolling it out to other countries, um, certain areas, but here it defines what they say is political content um, and that they're still working on it with member feedback. Here's the directions to do it in your actual feed. Um, but with anything, it could hide something that you might have wanted to see or vice versa. It's not going to catch everything, but it helps clean up that feed a little bit more. Um, we do hear a lot of feedback about LinkedIn feeds being too busy, um, having information that's not relevant, starting to seem like different other um, social media platforms. That's all controllable by you based on who you're following, the content that you're engaging with, certain keywords you're using, hashtags, um, all of those different types of things, all that activity you're doing on LinkedIn curates that feed. If you're a sales navigator user, um, you can always pop into sales navigator and see a more, more curated feed directly to those people that you've saved in your sales navigator for business purposes. Um, so a lot of flexibility here. LinkedIn's working on it. Again, if you have any questions with this, refer to the help section, um, but that's how you can get less political content in your feed or eliminate the, the political content from your feed. Um, if you need any help with LinkedIn, um, strategy, profile, any of that type, any of those types of things, we have a lot of YouTube videos. Um, encourage you to take a look at our other videos or reach out to us. We're always happy to have a conversation.